The Space Shuttle Challenger's five astronauts are sleeping now after a virtually flawless launch and first day. This is the seventh shuttle mission, and with no hitches, it might have been considered routine. But as the Challenger climbed today, it carried an American woman astronaut, Sally Ride, into space and into history. Lynn Scher has the story. She was grinning with excitement even before she left the Earth. Even before the crowds here chanted, Ride, Sally, Ride, as Challenger took its supercharged journey into space. And liftoff, liftoff of STS-7 and America's first woman astronaut. And the shuttle has cleared the tower. It was a perfect launch into the history books, as Challenger once again charged into the sky and gently rolled over, carrying not only Sally Ride, but four other male astronauts towards orbit. The trip to space was so exhilarating, Dr. Ride offered this comparison in her first words from Challenger. Affirmative. That was definitely an e-ticket. In other words, the best of all possible rides. Over at the VIP site, her family dealt with the sort of attention Dr. Ride had left behind. And after watching her daughter light off atop two rockets, Joyce Ride had this word of advice for would-be space travelers. Think about your mother. <laughs> Later, the astronauts beamed down their first TV pictures of the payload bay and pointed out the cloud cover over Florida. Then this afternoon, with John Fabian at the controls and Sally Ride still grinning as she worked and played with the camera, they completed their first task, deployment of the Canadian communication satellite. Challenger's next goal will be to launch the Indonesian communication satellite tomorrow morning. Then on Wednesday, another satellite. But for many, by taking Sally Ride into space, the shuttle completed its most impressive mission when it left the pad this morning. Lynn Scher, ABC News at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida.